أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله was a reminder from myself everything related to the reality of Prophet Sallallahu is based on light that when Prophet Sallallahu was given permission to begin the nation of Islam and to move from oppression and to establish the city of light, Medina to Munawwara. These steps are necessary for creation. No creation, no Prophet, no angel can reach its reality until the physicality of Prophet comes and moves first. Means then it's an important isharat for us to understand and study the importance of the hijra when Prophet wants to establish the reality of light. In the opening of Muharram, two very important events take place. One representing the reality of Ahlul Bayt and Imam Ali salam that said, Ya Rasulullah, they're coming to kill you. We are from Ahlul Kawthar, the Sali Rabbika, we prayed unto our Lord and we are ready to sacrifice ourselves. Let us take our role as your family, establish your kingdom on earth, establish the city of lies in which Allah wants you to establish and take your complete Siddiq. Your, your Khalil and your friend, your companion, the first physical Khalifa, Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq. There's no confusion. From that time, Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq was to go, is the face of this reality. Imam Ali salam leads a life of sacrifice. So that Prophet can escape and move towards Medina to Munawwara. As soon as he laid himself in the bed to represent Sayyidina Muhammad and they came to kill. And Allah didn't allow even a hair of Sayyidina Ali to be touched. Allah wrote everything perfectly. They are all in taslim and they begin to show the highest level of reality. Before entering into the city on Ashura, Prophet stayed in the holy cave with Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq. It's a cave of realities. That Sayyidina Muhammad wants to pour something within the heart of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq and says he excels not because of his praying and his fasting but what I have poured into the heart of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq. If you want to reach the city of lights, you cannot go directly into that city, you must go into the cave that you have to seek refuge from the shayateen. When they came to look for Prophet there was a, a block upon the cave so that they couldn't come in. It had a door upon it from a spider web. Surah 29 is Ankabut. Allah describes it's such a fragile home. But it's such a beautiful creation that when you look at and marvel with it that, Ya Rabbi, what kind of guidance this spider has that he is better than the best architect. He makes a perfect web, a perfect belief and he waits for Allah to send sustenance. He's not hunting like a bear all day long in the marketplace. This now beginning to tell us about ourselves. That if you want to be from this reality, then don't busy yourself in the marketplace running from money. 
spend your time making that which is beautiful to Allah Allah sends your flies. But if the web has a hole, the fly goes through. Means then we busy ourselves perfecting ourselves, perfecting our character, perfecting our akhlaq, doing our zikr and that which Allah is pleased with. Then what you saw in the cave was a dove with two eggs. That Allah described it now that when you enter into this cave, you're going to be the owner of these two creations. Mulki wa malakut that what contained inside this reality is all the mulk, all the created universe and all the malakut, the, the unseen power of this universe, all going to be in the reality of this cave. And as soon as we take our path into the cave, we begin to read what, what transpired within the cave. Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq was sitting in the cave and Sayyidina Muhammad with him salam, puts his head onto his knees and wants to rest and there's a hole inside the cave. And the, the great Siddiq of Allah put his foot and his qadam upon the hole because there was a snake that coming into the cave. And the great Siddiq with his blessed qadam, he blocked the hole. Means then our life and our understanding of the life is that inside the cave which is towards the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad you must be accompanied by these great Siddiqs. Only their foot can block the whole of shaitan. The great Siddiq's foot is teaching that if you have the qadam and you, you take my path of my feet, which was the complete love of the, the shams of the universe, means the complete love of Sayyidina Muhammad I am the face of the moons. That if you follow my way and your Siddiqiyah character, your truthful character, the love that you have for Sayyidina Muhammad I will perfect it inside and out. That if my foot upon your foot, my hand upon your hand, I'll block the whole of shaitan The shaitan has no access to you. Shaitan only comes in our life when the foot begins to move. No, oh, I'm not gonna listen, I'm not gonna follow. As soon as you don't follow, there's this hole where shaitan is coming out. So our whole life is to be on their qadam. The qadam is Siddiq, the foot of the truthful ones and the great Siddiqs, they are on qadam rasul Abu Bakr Siddiq began to teach that come into this cave of realities, come and understand how to, to activate the heart within your being, follow my example and my way. As soon as they left the cave, they entered into the city of lights and who's waiting there for them? Sayyidina Ali salam. A Timeless Reality with Sheikh Nurjan Marakhmidi Guides the Reader in Meditation Connecting the heart to a guide and to daily spiritual practices to understand the effects of positive and negative energy and to progress the reader in their spiritual awakening and the soul's connection to the world of light. The Divine's Ancient Timeless Reality Order on Amazon.com are you ever searching for what zikr to recite for a particular need? We bring to you the Muhammadan Way app, an all-encompassing Islamic guide, where you can find special du'as and prayers, as well as comprehensive Islamic teachings. Download this powerful app now on iOS and Android. Everything related to the reality of Prophet is based on light. 
as Prophet Sallallahu is the king of all created universes, then every movement on dunya must be a reflection of that reality of Akhirah. Every movement of Prophet is moving the entire nation and creation towards the Muhammadan reality in paradise, like a shadowing and mirroring. The Holy Qur'an describing, I show you the sign upon the horizon and I show you within yourself. Within the self is the most difficult to know oneself. The sign upon the horizon from Surat Al Yaseen, which is the heart of all realities, the heart of Holy Quran, Allah describes the sun and the moon. The sun is always represented by masculine as a source of light and nur. And the moon is always following the sun and perfecting itself as a source of reflection from that reality. That begins to open the understanding of the relationship in which Allah says, they don't overtake each other, they know their place. They both move and they swim in an orbit and Allah uses the word fuluq. Fuluq is a ship that the moons are a ship and they go directly on a path. Because the moon are the companions and Sayyidina Muhammad is the sun. Allah says, as my moons follow the sun, be from the people of the moon. And make your whole life focus the sun, I'm following the sun, I'm following the nur. Within the source and the power of that nur is Allah They carry the realities of souls and guidance and they're moving and traversing the Muhammadan reality. Because this is a isharat from the heavens. That the sun and the moon, they're always together, constantly moving in a pattern. Means the companions they represent completely the reality of Prophet always to creation. And those who wish to follow that example, what they describe as awliyaullah, as salihin, those who are muhsin and pious, they follow the way of the moon. Purify yourself and direct yourself always to the light and that which is eternal. Is now the completion and the perfection of that moon. The face of the moon from the holy companions, the reality of the moon from the holy family. There are 12 faces of the holy companions and 12 realities of the holy Imams that are inheritors of Sayyidina Muhammad. They are the perfection of that reality. From the beginning of Muharram is then the face of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq and the first reality of that is Imam Ali Risa. The two together are the complete perfection. Sayyidina Ali Salam completely loved, respect and understood Sayyidina Abu Bakr, you are the face and I'm the side of the moon that nobody sees. You see me on the fourth moon. There was no mistake, there was no confusion. They knew the reality and the reality transpired exactly the way Allah wanted it to transpire.
means that anybody who comes against is actually coming against Allah That is the depth of that reality, the depth of what the dress of Muharram, the perfection of Muharram, the perfection of the first month of Muharram which carries the secret and the face of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq, carries the secret of Imam Ali Salam and Naqshbandiyat al-Aliyah is based on the two. The only tariqah from Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq and the only tariqah that taking the dress of Sayyidina Ali Salam's family secret. When Imam Mahdi appears, then is the perfection of that moon bringing these two different groups back together. We are the people who are completely in the love of the Sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad and we are completely in the love of Ahlul Bayt and Nabi that is the perfection of the moon. If the moon doesn't have the perfection and the love of the sunnah and the love of Ahlul Bayt, we are a split moon. Can't do much with something split. It has to be brought back to be whole. That is why everybody is waiting for the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi to bring back the moon, to bring back its authority, to bring back its reality. All awliyaullah have to be from one of the companions and they carry the reality from the Ahlul Bayt and they are the full moons and their whole life is facing the reality of Prophet And Allah says, if not for the sun and the moon, you have no existence on this earth. Nothing would grow on this earth. Nothing would be guided on this earth. We pray that Allah open for us from these understandings and that we make a life that always traversing the real moons of the Divine, the Presence. Subhana rabbika rabba izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. If money could just grow on trees, there would be no need for this message. Since it doesn't, let us show you where your generous donations are going. We film, edit, and produce weekly television shows of divinely knowledge throughout Canada and the UK. as well as live stream internationally on Facebook and YouTube. Sheikh Nurjan's ever-growing online presence is the result of continuous financial input, and with your financial assistance and participation, this rapid growth will continue. Our Muhammadan Way app is continuously being upgraded and improved providing an all-encompassing Islamic guide. In addition to the Muhammadan Way app, NurMuhammad.com is a website of immense knowledge and comprehensive Islamic teachings that is updated daily. Your ongoing support also enables a team of editors to compile books of heavenly wisdom from Sheikh Nurjan's teachings. One of our longest ongoing initiatives has been to provide basic necessities to the most in need worldwide. From feeding people in Vancouver's downtown east side, to clothing LA's homeless community, and supporting a children's orphanage in Pakistan. Your ongoing donations will help us continue to spread the love and example of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Become a shareholder in immense blessings. NurMuhammad.com forward slash donate.